Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Google Cloud Next 2018. Brought to you by Google Cloud and its ecosystem partners. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE's live coverage. We're in San Francisco, California at Moscone South for Google Cloud's big event called Next 2018. Hashtag Google Next 18. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. Next is Paul Galepsi, who's the CEO of Smart Parking, customer of Google Cloud, moved from AWS, a variety of options, a very specific application, Smart Parking, I almost guess what it is, but we'll let him explain. Paul, welcome to theCUBE. Hi, how do you do? Thanks for coming on. Okay, first take a minute to explain Smart Parking. What do you guys do? What's the layout? What's the product, service, infrastructure? Just give us a quick taste of what that sure. looks like. So we are a uh, Australian public listed organization on the Australian Securities Exchange. We uh, essentially are a parking technology business, parking technology and services. We have two parts to our company. We, uh, number one, technology, we design, build, install, maintain in-ground parking sensor equipment. So this is really a smart city solution or IOT solution. This is where we put um, parking sensor or, or sensors in the ground in each parking space on the streets or in, in the garages, you have the red and green lights. And these sensors talk via uh, a gateway through to the cloud in real time to provide information to either your mobile phone to tell you how to get to a space and also allow you to pay, or it can go to a sign, can go to other cloud-driven devices, um, uh, business intelligence tools, really uh, a data product that allows you to manage your business, but a municipality can manage the streets more effectively. So is it like finding a spot that's open or paying for the spot that's open or? Oh. Okay. Both. So we're just uh, deploying uh, 3,000 sensors in the city of Adelaide in Australia, right? Uh, and this is where we put, again, uh, sensors in the road across the city so people in real time can see on their phone. So whilst the, the phone's on the dashboard there, they can uh, Google map them straight to an empty spot, but also when they get there, allow them to pay for that spot as well. So essentially what, what, the, what, the, uh, what the client is getting, what the, um, what the council and municipality is getting is um, customers who've got much better experience of parking. And that's one of our, <laughs> what our at our core, at our, our mantra is we want to reinvent the parking experience, right? Because it sucks, right? You know, it, your day starts and ends with a parking uh, yeah, event, yeah? yeah? And <laughs> we've all done it, yeah. you circle around the city. But, but for us, we, we really, really believe that providing people with that information in their hand to make a choice where they can park, you know, rather than turning right at the block to go where they always go, where they know it's busy, turn left. You might be a one block away walk, but hey, it's, it's a much better experience. I mean, with self-driving cars right around the corner, it's a great IOT solution for Correct. just car. Take me to the open next nearest spot. That's absolutely You right. almost envision that. That's, and that's where, you know, I get, I mean, clearly as a, as a, as a listed business, I get asked by a lot of analysts, you know, finance analysts said, how is driverless cars going to disrupt your business? Well, if anything, it's going to accelerate oh, our absolutely. business. absolutely. Because, yeah. you know, the cars, you know, we can talk directly to the car now and tell the car where to go, where to park, and where the open space Drop is. Drop me off at the restaurant and go park yourself. Correct. I mean, <laughs> that's exactly right. That's, that's exactly that's right. Google AI yeah. kicking in right there. <laughs> yeah. So you got a lot of Google strategic advantage here. Google Maps, yeah. which is highly accurate. You got the instrumentation of your yep. solution, which is basically an IoT, smart IoT device, and then you got scale and you got latency requirements. That's low latency right. is super important to you. Is that something that attracted you to Google? Was that scale and low latency a big deal? Absolutely, I mean latency uh, is a big part of all the contracts that we execute. Yeah? Uh, one of the municipalities is really clear that when a car arrives or vacates from a spot, they want to know as quickly as possible that that event has happened, okay? Because you know, there's lots of things going on in that parking space, because also the, the council, the municipality, looks at that space as an asset, because of course it generates revenue. So when you pull up and park, you've got to pay, right? So the longer you're there, the more you pay. If you don't pay enough, guess what? Assets park. not utilized. Yeah, yeah, assets not utilized, but also a parking warden turns up and will give you a, oh, yeah, give you yeah, a ticket, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we can, we can help the council and the municipality with uh, mobilizing their parking officers, giving them better information, right, as to where it they can go. It increases revenue for the municipality because they know, okay, that car is about 10 minutes, it's about 10 minutes away, let's, let's do a flyby. Yeah, exactly. You know? well, and that's the way it works, and, and that's the way the city should work. You've got to keep turning it over, because it's good for the retailers as well, because they, they want to see turnover of spots, uh, so they get more customers in their shops, and so on and so forth. And all the, all the data is processed in the, cl in the yeah, cloud? that's it. So, so it's pretty, pretty lightweight data model in terms of the volume of data? Are you not moving tons of video or pictures or? No, well in our, in our UK business we do a lot of video, we do a lot of number plate recognition, so we use, again, that data is going over the cloud, um, and we capture plates, uh, images of plates regularly for, you know, so we can get access to and from car parking or car parking lots, uh, or, uh, parking lots. Uh, but really the, the, the information, the, the volume of data, if you think about any city, so 
Yeah, we've got big installations, citywide installations, three and a half, four thousand sensors in Westminster, the same in Wellington, New Zealand, Sydney, Melbourne, lots of councils around the world. Now, you're talking about when a car's arriving and leaving continually, that's a lot of transactions. But also the information that we're, we're constantly processing in real time is what time did the car arrive, what time did the car leave, how long has the car been there, has it paid, how long did it pay for, does the car need to be infringed, do I need to mobilize an infringement officer? All that kind of information has to happen in real time. And that's what Google Cloud uh, allows us to do. How but much? I mean, it's, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's relatively, you know, lots of small, yeah. pieces of information Correct. that you can process in the cloud to deliver results Absolutely. in real time. And okay. needs, to be, needs to be robust, okay, because if you, let's say if you take an enforcement action against the car, then that needs to be legally enforceable and it's got to stand up in a court of law. Yeah. So time stamped. Got to be yeah. correct, it's got to be accurate. So latency is really important, so speed, yeah, so we can get that information continually um, processed, but also then accuracy is incredibly important. And are you using Google's standard network? We heard today about their premium network, or? Oh, just the yeah, the standard yeah. network. So we, we moved, obviously we had our own, own process for a while, we had an uh, experience with AWS, but also now with Google Cloud, and I guess what that allows us to do, as I mentioned a moment ago, is just the, the scale, you know, being able to deploy these uh, city-wide installations, you know, thousands of IoT devices on the streets and also gateway devices on lampposts that are processing the information. Um, the scale and the, the customer doesn't really, doesn't really see it, just gets you know, all this great data coming through and they, they can then make educated business decisions of how many parking wardens do I need? Do I put the price up in a certain area of town? Do I put the price down to try and distribute demand? Um, and, and that's how they kind of try and manage their assets, really. Surge parking. That's exactly what it is. You know, it's coming. Yeah, and that was the That's primary right. motivation for going to Google was the the scale, or you scale. weren't you weren't able to scale with other clouds? Or? Absolutely, with our with our with our previous um, certainly with our own I guess comms server, if you like, um, that was a real challenge the scale. And because we're, we're growing, growing pretty quickly, um, yeah, you know, we've been in this I guess in this marketplace for 15 years, you know, deploying these types of solutions. Um, but because we're growing significantly, the, the smart cities movement is really gaining momentum right now, so we've seen more customers come to us, so therefore we needed something more robust um, and something that can keep growing infinitely, and that's what the cloud allows us. Talk about IoT Core from Google. How did that help you, using that solution, and how does that fit in? It's really, um, how does it help? Again, the, the scale is the key thing, and just the ability to develop quickly, all right? I mean, one of the real benefits is just you know, the reporting functionality. I mean, our customers go crazy for reports, right? And having, uh, you know, having to come back to us every, week, every month, whatever, say, hey, how about a report on X, or how about a report on Y? Yeah, we give them the information, the data's there, they can query their own, yeah, essentially build their own reports, their own dashboard, their own tiles. Yeah. It's a cool product, right? So final question for you, how has the Google Cloud changed your business? Is the business outlook stronger? What did it say? What's the hassle? What went away? Uh, what was the helper? What was the uh, impact to you using Google well, Cloud? I guess uh, impact, resilience is great. You know, we, we don't have the problems we used to have. We had a lot of bumps in the road with the comm servers, you know. Uh, obviously costs, you know, you pay for what you use rather than have to buy a whole bunch of hardware, you know, like we did in the past. Um, again, the scale and the, the speed of deployment is really important. You know, our customers now, we're able to deploy thousands of these sensors. Yeah, yeah the professional service still takes time of drilling a hole and the nuts and bolts, if you like, but the actual you know, deployment of the, the, the software and the, what the customer so you're sees. you're up and running faster. Absolutely. So yeah, that's a key quicker. benefit right there. Huge. Huge the business benefit is no disruption to the service, faster time to having it online. Correct. And then the Correct. reporting, the reporting and the scale beyond that. And that's it. And it's uh, and the, just the functionality of reporting, our customers love that. Um, ensuring they get, you know, because they're, they're, they're dealing with large sums of money, right? Um, and if they can become more efficient, we can help them become more efficient by providing that information direct to their customers or to their enforcement officers or whoever it may be, then they're, they're happy. And who do you like at the Melbourne Cup in November? Melbourne Cup, oh, that's a good right, question. We can get through the summer <laughs> racing season, then we'll ask. <laughs> Dave's, got the, he's, Dave's, Dave's handicapping horses already, yeah. it's only mid-season. Get ready for that's Saratoga. That's it, yeah. Paul, thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate the time. Of course, thank uh, you. And sharing your story. It's so theCUBE, getting all the stories from the customers, from the executives, developers, you name it. We'll do whatever it takes to open up the data and share that content with you. We're watching theCUBE here, live in San Francisco. Stay with us for more coverage after this short break.